So this question starts off by providing us with this function, p of t is equal to 260 times 1.04 to the 6 4th t power. The question goes on to say the function p models the population in thousands of a certain city t years after 2003. So we know that t is years and it's years after the year 2003. According to the model, the population is predicted to increase by 4% every n months. So that's interesting because there's no mention of n in the actual function itself. We have just t. So just keep, let's keep that in mind. Um, we'll probably need to translate t to n, basically. Like maybe solve for t and then translate that into the number of, month, the number of months that that t value represents. So then it says, what is the value of n? Well, what is the value of n of what? For or for what, right? According to the model, the population is predicted to increase by 4% every n months. So we want to figure out how many months does it take for this population to increase by 4%. Well, I notice that I have this 1.04 inside of parentheses here. That itself represents an increase of 4%. Right, so 1.04 is equivalent to 104%. 104% represents a 4% increase. It represents having 100% of something and then adding to that an additional 4% or increasing it by 4%. So if the function simply said P of T equals 260 times 1.04, that would represent a 4% increase, okay? So now, how would I get this to happen, right? I know that I have this exponent here, so how would I get this to happen? Well, I would need my exponent to just equal one, right? Like, that's how I would get this to happen. That's how I would represent that this 260 is just increasing by 4%. Um, and I'd be able to figure out the number of months there by setting this exponent equal to one, Just like, like I know that that exponent needs to equal one in order to determine how much time it takes for us to have a 4% increase. So I'm gonna take my exponent, 6 fourths times t, I'm gonna set it equal to one, I'm gonna multiply both sides of this by 4, 6 in order to isolate my t value. So I have t equals four over six. I can reduce four over six to two over three so I've got t equals 2 over 3. So I have two-thirds of a year, right? Because again, t represents years. So how many months is two-thirds of a year? Well, a year has 12 months. So if I multiply this by 4, I'd get my denominator of 12, right? Saying this out of a total of 12 months, I should be focusing on the fact that there are 8 months out of the 12 months that are required in order to get us to increase by 4%, right? So T equals two thirds, or an, another way to say a two thirds of one year is the same as saying eight months, right? Eight out of 12 months. So our answer is eight months, choice A. That's the number of months that it would take for the population to increase only by 4%, right? Only by 4%. So the key was understanding that in order to get this to be 4%, this has to be 1 right here. Right? That's the only way for us to get our growth or to determine how long it takes to grow by 4%.